Hey, Power B fans, I got something really neat in the mail today. This is the Big Bore Kit. Let's check it out. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, 940 cylinder, right, versus the 820 cylinder. Um, and, and I'm calling it a 940 uh, because that would be uh, 9.4 cubic inches with the larger bore and a stroker crank. If you were to use this cylinder with a standard 820 uh, crank, which is 1.625 inch stroke, uh, then you would have an 860. So it would bump your engine up from an 820 to an 860 if you just use the overbore, okay? So standard cylinder, right? Just sitting next to each other, pretty much looks exactly the same. Um, one of the big differences you can see here, right? Standard cylinder doesn't have boost ports in the back, okay? And then the transfer ports are not modified. This one would be a heavily modified, you know, cylinder due to the larger bore. Uh, you can see transfer ports in the back, uh, as you are boost ports in the back, and then um, transfer ports have been modified um, on each side, right? Looking at the piston, you can see a couple of differences. You know, aside from the, the one versus two rings, you know, don't really worry about that. Uh, we have single ring, um, standard bore pistons. Uh, but one of the things you'll see is right here, right? The piston has been taken down. It's been taken down. And the reason that that modification was made, because if we put a standard, uh, standard cylinder 820 piston, if it doesn't actually go all the way to the bottom where it slaps up against the the actual cylinder block but it does it does come down right so if it was to come down and you were to put a stroker crank in here it would come lower right and as it goes lower your connecting rod um, is going to come around and hit on the uh the the uh, skirt of the piston right there so let's look at the the modified piston All right you can see uh, one of the one of the advantages of moving your boost ports all the way through the bottom of the cylinder what that does is even if you don't modify your piston now instead of having boost ports where it's boosted through the piston um, you have actual transfer ports you're pulling from the crankcase here and you're pulling from the crankcase here so Two additional transfer ports, but just for common terminology, we'll call them uh, boost ports. Okay, so boost ports, visible. And then here, since the piston has been relieved in this area, now you can use like your vintage uh, Horstman crank, like the 1.92 inch. Um, and then what'll happen is you're cl you'll clear right there on that uh, piston skirt. You wanna actually hit the skirt on the stroker, bringing that, bringing that piston down. So that's just a, you know, not every engine will, will take advantage of that um, because not every crankshaft is a stroker. Uh, but that's just, you know, one of the little touches, you know, to try to innovate, make it, you know, more of a, a, a universal piston that could be used in uh, your vintage crankshafts by Horstman. Um, or the modern stroker cranks that we have now. So that's the that's the gist of it. You know, if you were to buy this as a kit, of course it would come with your cylinder and your piston kit. Okay, so piston, wrist pin, the snap rings, um, and then your piston rings. Okay, and then if you were to buy it as an engine, of course I could build a standard. Um, you know, 894, 860 uh, utility engine, however you wanted it made, or, you know, you could bump up uh, to the to the custom stuff where you start getting like the, the billet high compression heads, uh, machine flywheels, right? PVL flywheels, PVL ignitions with no rev limit, um, your uh, individual crank pin needle bearings, right? No limit coils, fiberglass, uh, as you work carbon fiber reeds, you know, so uh, the the possibilities are not endless, but they're definitely they're definitely growing, you know, from 
uh, an 820 to an 860 to an 894 uh, to a 940. There's tons of options. Um, and, 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 you know, we're just going to try to continue to, to innovate and, and introduce more products.